Hi, in this video we're going to continue looking at circles for Unit 9A, Day 4. We're going to look at arc length and circle sectors. So your arc length is the distance around part of a circle. So how far around the circle are we going? We know a full circle always has a measure of 360 degrees regardless of the size. So this little tiny circle here and this big circle here both have a measurement of 360 degrees. But we know because they have different radii, I have a short radius here and then I have this longer radius here, we know these two circles would have different lengths or circumferences around, right? So even though they both have a measure of 360, the arc lengths are going to be different, okay? So we think of circumference as the length around a full circle, the length around the of an arc around a full circle will be different depending on size, right? So you'll have small, smaller lengths and larger lengths, even though they're both 360 degrees. So in the circle to the right, if AB is 5 centimeters, so from A to B, from here to here, that whole length is 5 centimeters. We know the measure of arc BFB. So I'm starting at B, I'm going through F, and I'm going all the way back around to B. So the whole circle, BFB, is 360 degrees. But let's look at what the length of arc BFB is. So you're going to have the measure of the arc is 360, and then you're going to have lengths of arcs, which are going to be different. The length of that whole arc is its circumference. So 2 pi r is my formula, or 2 times the di or sorry, the diameter times pi, but since I have my radius is 5. I'm going to use r as 5. And 2 times 5 is 10, so I know this is 10 pi. And if it asks me for the exact length, I'm going to just leave it as 10 pi. I'm not going to change it to a decimal. So the length of arc BFB is, three, is 10 times pi. And we should probably put centimeters, okay? So you have the measure of arc BFB and you have the length of arc BFB. And those are two different things. I have 360 degrees and I have 10 pi centimeters. So you always will have to pay attention when you're looking at assignments. Are we looking at measures, which means I want degrees, or am I looking at length, which means I want a unit of length, right? A centimeters or a meters or an inches, okay? Now, sometimes our arcs, we learned in the last lesson, or last couple lessons, our arcs, we're just looking at part of the circle. We're not going all the way around the circle. We're just looking from arc E, D, just part of the circle. So let's say, what if this is going one-fourth the way around the circle, right? Instead of going all the way around the circle, we're only going to do one-fourth of that circle, okay? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to first find, well, what is the measure of arc ED, right? The measure of arc ED, if all the way around the circle is 360 degrees, right, and I'm only going one-fourth of that, then one-fourth of 360 is going to be 90 degrees. So I know this here is a right angle, and this is 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm only going 90 degrees of that 360 degree circle. My circumference of the whole circle, and notice it says I want the exact circumference. My exact circumference of this whole circle is going to be circumference equals 2 pi r. So my exact circumference is 2 times pi times my radius. My radius is 24 centimeters. So my exact circumference is 2 times 24 is 48 pi, and my units here would be centimeters. So that's the exact circumference, okay? So then to find the exact length, right? Because I don't want the whole circumference. I don't want all the way around. To find the exact length, what we're going to do is we're going to take the 1 fourth because we don't want the whole circumference, right? Just like we did here, we did one-fourth of the whole circle. Now I'm going to do one-fourth of the whole circle, right? We did one-fourth of the measurement. We're going to do one-fourth of the circumference. So one-fourth of 
48 pi is going to be my exact length. So 1 fourth of 48 is, I believe, 12. Oops, is 12. Notice I didn't say 1 fourth of 48 pi. I just did 1 fourth of 48, right? I did 1 fourth times 48, and I got 12, or 48 divided by 4, and I got 12. And since I didn't put the pi in my calculator, or when I did this in my head, however you did this, 1 fourth of 48, since I didn't calculate in the pi, I need to make sure that I write it off still next to it. And that is my exact length. There's no decimals. Okay? My units are still centimeters. We use degree for measurements. For length, we're always going to use a distance measurement, centimeters, inches, miles, something like that. So this is my exact length, and this is the measurement. So the distance is, the difference is this 90 degrees is the same no matter how, on every one-fourth of every circle you've ever seen. But if I had a little ant and it was walking from D to E and it had to walk along the edge, how far would that little, little bug or little ant have to walk? It would have to walk 12 pi centimeters. Okay? And to figure out what that actually looks like in our brains, we would want to do that multiplication and get the approximate answer. But this asked me for exact, so I'm going to leave it as 12 pi. Okay. All right, the next one said, well, what if the arc has a measure of 180 degrees instead of 90 degrees? Okay, so what we're going to do is figure that out, right? So I know 180 degrees is going to be halfway around my circle, right? Because 180 out of 360 is one half of that circle. Okay, so now I'm doing half of the circle. Well, let's figure out what is the whole circle. My whole circle is 2 pi r. So my circumference is 2 times pi times my radius, which, oh, it's still the same circle, 24 centimeters, or the congruent circle. So that's going to be 48 pi. But now, instead of doing one-fourth of that 48 pi, now we just want half of the circle. So I'm going to do half of that 48 pi. And one-half of 48 is 24 pi. And my units are centimeters. So this is the exact length of the arc if it's 80 degrees, 24 pi centimeters. Okay, so now my next question says, well, what am I doing exactly to find the arc, arc length when it's not the whole circumference? So if I look at the two that I did, I'm taking the fractional part of my circle, of my arc, and I'm multiplying it to the circumference, right? So it's the fractional part times the whole circumference. Okay, and so when we kind of think about it, that fractional part, how did we figure out what, how, if they didn't tell me what one fourth was or if they didn't tell me that it was one half, how do I get that fractional part, right? Like on this one, they didn't tell me what the fraction was. They said it's 180 degrees. Here, it was 90 degrees. What is that fractional part? So if I think about it in that terms, what is the fractional part? How do you figure out the fraction of the 360? You're going to take that measure, the, the measure of the arc, and you're going to divide it by 360. That's always going to give you the fraction of the circle you want. So it's going to be the measure of the arc over 360 times the circumference, which we know is 2 pi r. So that's kind of like a little formula there that we could use. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that as our little formula that we're going to be using. Okay, so my formula here is length equals the fractional part, which was the measure of the arc, 
over 360 times the circumference, 2 pi r. Okay, so this becomes kind of like a little formula that we can use anytime we want to find the length. Remember, length and measure are two different things. In the next video, we're going to look at some others other than one fourth and one half and try to find some arc lengths and then maybe even move into some sector areas. Come on back for the next video. Thank you so much for watching.